Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are playing Space Agency. We will be doing mission number six today, a new space station hub. We will start with our briefing. So from mission six, the new station hub, our objectives are to launch a space station hub into orbit. Transport the hub to the space station. Detach the docked resupply module, attach the hub module in its place, connect the hub to the station power grid, redock the resupply module to the lower port on the new hub. Our budget is $20 million, and our max time is 15 minutes, 0 seconds. The administration has decided to embark upon a program to expand the space station. This mission marks the first part of that expansion. You will attach a new four-part space station hub to the station. This will allow a further three modules to be attached in future missions. The new hub will be located at the bottom of the station where you docked the resupply module in an earlier mission. To ensure that the hub modules port zero is, oh, excuse me, ensure that the hub's modules port zero attached to the station. <laughs> port zero is identified by a white dot. Once you've attached the hub module, connect it to the station's power grid, then reattach the resupply module to the bottom port on the hub to complete the mission. You will find the Space Station Hub in the Station Parts menu. Tip, play tutorial number 3 to learn about docking. So, for our gold award, we must complete this mission in less than $6,500,000 and a time of less than 3 minutes and 50 seconds with no checkpoints. So let us begin. I think we can do this. So we're going to go to our rockets, and we're going to go new rocket. And our payload this time is this space station HUD, which is a small part. So we're going to start with a small stage. And again, I am going to go with the Titan. Titan is one of my favorite rockets. And then we'll do a connector small to small. And where is it? We can use the small tug module on this one. And we need to add our station part. There is our payload. And we will once again add the solid boosters. And then we can come back here and we need to add the standard fairing right here. So that brings us to a total of 6,250,000 with our completed rocket and we are ready to rock and roll. So let's launch. And I'm going to skip seconds. ahead Five, and then at like four, three and a half three, seconds two, we will light the ignition and here we go. So remember with the solid boosters attached our pulsing can be quite a bit less frequent and we can save quite a bit of fuel doing this while relying on the solid boosters and then we can start to roll right about now this is probably the perfect time yes perfect 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 keep rolling keep rolling just a little bit and now our boosters are out so we will start to make our pulses longer and actually we probably have enough fuel right now to just kind of solid boost all the way to the end of this because any of the first stages aren't going to allow us to navigate in space so we're just going to have to shut them so let's uh, I was a second too late on hitting the separate button but that's okay we can separate right here there's just an extra step because we have to separate the fairing first now we want our red exit line to be on station and then we can hit the button now a little bit early but that's okay all right so we are going to rotate and i am going to pulse the main engine and that will 
get us closer to centered on the station. And I will continue rotating, and once we get to 180 degrees, we will stop. And again, that is to allow us to use our main thrusters to slow ourselves down. And then we can just kind of scroll the screen. Ooh, we're going to hit. We're going to hit right on. So we actually are going to want to twist a little bit here. And there we are. And now we'll start slowing down. And this should miss the station, which is what we want. All right. So I am going to come here. I don't have... Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to keep slowing down, and let's slow down like this, and now I should have enough time to double check my, uh, there we go, my stuff here, and I can eject this module. Double check my pressure and my fuel to make sure that the fuel is not connected to the uh, station's fuel. Because if it is, we'll have a massive fuel leak in space, and it would be bad, 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 bad for the environment, bad for, you know, the station, and everything like that. So, we are going to work our way into the alignment here. So, right about here is probably good, and I can rotate, and now we can... Do this, and then I Halo will released. set this back on a course for the station. And I might not have had this lined up. It's it's probably it's close enough. It's not a hundred percent there. It's not technically one hundred percent perfect, but it works. So we will slow ourselves Don't down, and now I can grab this. And I will go turn my power on. And I believe that completes the mission. Yes, it does. Because we're kind of frozen here. Just like this. Mission there we complete. are. So we have attained the gold award. It has taken us 3 minutes and 27 seconds. At a cost of 6.25, I believe, million dollars. So there we are. Next time when we come back, we will deal with this top secret thing in the menu. Yes. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful night, guys. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network.